Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Lumen Top. Now this here is their frog. This is a little keychain light. Now I was sent this directly by Lumen Top. They wanted me to test and review this light. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. Now they also included here, you can purchase this separately from their website. This uh, runs a AAA cell, which you can buy those lithium style or just use a regular alkaline cell. We got one user manual, very long and detailed. This is running the Narsum UI, so you can do some additional programmings of it, uh, which is pretty simple. Uh, but we're going to stick to the default and uh, interface, so we're going to go ahead and uh, use the default. This is the charging port. You have to screw that on in order to charge the light. Here's the keychain ring and clip. That way you can carry it with you every day. We've got one charging cable if I can get it out of here. Pretty short Type-C is magnetic as well. Keeps them together. It's kind of nice. Now let's go ahead and take out this tiny wonder of light. There it is. Very tiny. It's got some knurling here, help unscrew it. It's going to be on your key ring here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put this on. Kind of represent it a little bit better here with the, showing how easy it is to put this on here. Just like that. Got the easy clip on there and you're ready to go. Side switch. Does have a little bit of heat sinking here. Now the style design on this is nice. Definitely tiny enough to not obstruct your keys let alone when you're carrying them. And the machining and finish on this is nice. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the Special Optics. Now behind that is a Luminous SST20 LED. going to give you a hot spot there with the tapered spill. So now let's go ahead and uh, take this part, show you the inside. There's a little protection piece here that you want to remove, stuck to the head there. Tap it on your pant leg or whatever, get that off. There's a straight contact point there on the head. And we have tail spring down in there. Good quality. Now it's going to be kind of hard to show you, but this is a 10 180 
battery there we go 80 milliamp it's going to provide you good run times on the lowest level and about 15 to 25 minutes on the highest level and that's because this little thing puts out a thousand lumens this is a 4.2 volt battery so let you know that's how that power comes out of this little thing and I've done lights with these before in the past got a confirmation blink we're ready to go now let's go through the UI we're going to go ahead and turn it on and the nice thing about this it ramps up and down we can just ramp it up slowly up or down let's take a look here at the beam raise it up a little bit more see it's got the hot spot here it's got the tapering spill a lot of bleeding around the edge of that hot spot a lot of light coming out of this little thing and then of course you can have it on the highest level double click and this will quickly discharge your battery but no need to worry you can easily charge it back up and we're right back down to the lower levels you'd be surprised how much light this is and how well the runtime will be with that little small little battery and on any a light level you can double click to get that highest output short burst this should be fine with no issues now from off we're going to go ahead and double click and get the highest output spur of the moment instant access to it now we're going to do three clicks one two three now you have your battery check mode three seven 3.7 volts now I'll keep doing that until you click the side switch now we're going to do four clicks one two three four so now the light is locked out cannot turn it on good for if you are carrying it with your keys you don't use it very often definitely be a good idea to lock it out especially if you have left it on a higher mode and shut it off this does have memory mode so one two three four now we're back on and uh, if you turn it off at this light level it does memorize it so one thing you might want to remember now we're going to do five clicks one two three four five so now you have momentary now I like this because it automatically is momentary on the highest output of this light so just remember this uh, battery will drain quite quickly because of its size so use it wisely on this mode as well now when you want to get out of this mode you're going to break the connection and now you're back to the regular UI and that's basically it on the default UI now you can do some additional steps and you can personalize it a little bit more uh, it's not as advanced as some of your other lights of course but you can kind of tweak this out just 
a little bit to your preference to your tastes and likes so now let me show you what you're going to do when you want to charge this light simply grab the charger port here and you're going to screw it on now because the light is so small it's kind of hard to put a charging port on it it's kind of limit to size so unfortunately don't lose this always have it in a safe place where you can easily charge up this light I'm going to grab a power bank to show you what it does and I'm going to bring out my handy little X-Star charger used quite a bit in my testing and we're going to go ahead and put this in here and now you can simply type C it doesn't matter which way you put it in and that's what it does when it's charging so a very nice solid built light especially for your keys now with your keys it's going to get scratched up pretty typical but uh, definitely nice um, light outputs especially for this size a thousand lumens you can have out of here now if you do use the bigger battery which is the 10440 now the 10440 will give you slightly bit more runtime but in my experience especially the last couple of years these size batteries are hard to find but if you are in possession of a couple this will definitely give you more runtime because I believe you can get up 650 milliamp on one of those batteries which is better than the 80 that this comes with so we're gonna go ahead and leave it here get it charged up and uh, let's go ahead and take it outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the little lumen top frog keychain light check it out see how it does it is on we're going to wrap it up here in a little bit nice coverage that's about 12 feet from where I'm standing there the beam on the fence give me an idea so we're going to go ahead and ramp it up here a little bit that water spout there is 38 feet from where I'm standing press it now this is not going to have a huge throw but it's making 65 feet here we'll wrap it up here and now let's go ahead and do turbo wow now the batteries is going to let you know just like that short burst only do it on the tree of life as you can see there it's making 138 feet so let's go ahead and turbo it again there we go 138 feet on a little keychain light now with this little battery can't expect it to last too long there. turbo again accidentally But on these lower light outputs, impressive. And we'll lower it back down. Nice color temp too. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Very impressed with the light output with this little battery not going to last very long at all so definitely want to use it for short bursts 
and uh, right about 100 lumens, 50 lumens, you're going to get the best run times. Now you'd be surprised how low this can go, which is about one lumen. Now you'd be surprised the one lumen output on here with this battery that's included has very good run times, surprising for its size. So you can use that and you'd be surprised how much you can see with one lumen. Um, if you need 50 lumens, 100 lumens, definitely is impressive. But the higher lumen output that you do use on this, the battery will drain quickly. So definitely something for emergency use, especially if it's on your keychain. Definitely ideal. So also another option that you can upgrade the larger battery tube to get a little bit larger battery, a little bit better capacity, and a little bit of more run time. But of course it's going to be longer, it's going to be bigger, so it's really up to you. Uh, you still need, unfortunately, to have this on hand. If you're on the go, maybe leave this in your vehicle, easily charge it on the go, but if not, don't lose this. Leave it at home so you can charge this daily if you have to depends on how much you use it but uh, charging it uh, once every couple months should be fine all right well i want to thank lumentop for sending me this little frog to review now if this is something you're interested in getting remember it's a complete kit except this is sold separately if you do you want to get the bigger battery um, if you can find them that's great I will leave a link down in the description where you can get this. Also working on a special discount code. These aren't too terribly expensive. But if I do get that, I'll leave that there as well. And that'll help you save some money on this just in case you're interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these tiny little lumen top edc lights to you in the future thanks for watching take care